My name is Raghu Govindachari. The whole revolution of the RISC architectures is based on the power of the modern compiler technology. Much of the execution time reduction for code is achieved by the compiler using a wider set of registers, analyzing of dependencies and reducing loads and stores. Further, compilers can analyze loops and function calls to remove invariants, reduce loading globals and statics, and even entirely removing function calls. They can reorder execution of high level language statements to reduce loads and stores. Finally, they can judiciously use machine instructions for a given computation and also schedule them to minimize pipeline stalls or maximize parallelism. In this video, we will look at some of the optimization techniques and also how to make better use of them while writing readable maintainable C code. It is often assumed that embedded systems programming always implied using coding tricks to make execution faster or reduce code size. That was definitely true with older 8-bit and 16-bit MCOs, where substantial coding was in assembly language to directly exploit the MCU's capabilities. With the advent of 32-bit MCUs and modern compilers, the onus of doing that has shifted from the software developer to the compiler. The first and foremost duty of the software developer is to write readable and maintainable code. Take a look at the code shown here. It is a correct but somewhat cryptic code for debouncing a switch. It's not immediately obvious how it achieves debouncing and whether correctly. While the programmer can take pride in such code, after proving that it works, it's not worth the effort later to maintain it. An optimizing compiler tries to generate code that is both small and fast. It does so by repeatedly applying a number of transformations to the source program. Most optimizations follow mathematical or logical rules based on a sound theoretical foundation. Other transformations are based on heuristics where experience has shown that some transformations often result in good code or open up opportunities for further optimization. There are very few cases where the optimizer relies on black magic. So the way you write your source code can determine whether an optimization can be applied to your program or not. Sometimes small changes in the source code can have a significant impact on how efficient code the compiler can generate. Trying to write your code on as few lines as possible using arcane facets of the language, post increments and comma expressions to squeeze in a lot of side effects in a single expression will not make the compiler generate more efficient code. It will just make your source code convoluted and hard to maintain. It's easy to overlook a post increment or an assignment if it is done in the middle of a complex expression. Why write code in a style that is not easy to read while the compiler can still generate efficient code? 